uglies. The watch stays with me. Flash forward! <laughs> Let's see how you like living in an aquarium. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm supposed to have power over the water. <laughs> see you in the sewers. Or sooner! Hope you're ready to get fast! Uh-oh! Thank you! Ha-ha! <laughs> you snooze, you lose, pokey! Oh, okay, point the other end is bad guys. Nice handshake you got there. Too bad we won't have time to... How oh, are you getting so close to me? I'm the fast one! 6-6 six, six may be susceptible to your speed, but you'll not find Tetrax so slow, Kenna Salarin. Who are you calling Kenny Celery Man? What you are is of no matter to us. What you have is... Give it to us, and you may yet live. Oh, man, I am not catching any breaks here. Stand here. and we've got a problem. We have no brakes. <sighs> That's not what I want to hear right now. <laughs> got some problems with the console. Like there is no console? There's light up ahead. We're almost out of the tunnel. Hand over the alien. Which alien? I've got like... off with the vine. Ugh. I have a feeling that's not it. So much as the fact that we're headed for a mighty big drop. Ben! Oh! Jump! It's Max. They want us to jump across? I can't make it across like this. I need a more powerful alien. Like Gax. Trust me, kid. You've got all the power you need right here. They're gone now. So I failed. Those alien guys got away. No, you won. You saved all those workers. And you saved me. Forever grateful. I second that. And while I hate to be short on the niceties, any thought on Ben's buggy watch or why they were after it? They didn't want the device. They wanted something in the device. In it? But what? Focus. Take out Steam Smythe, then take out his Robo Piranhas. Eyes on the horizon. What do you think you're doing? Whoa! I think I'm about to. Oh, big picture. Foolish fire fiend, like the 
magnificent manly, this craft feeds on fire. You can't defeat me in your pathetic state, and soon my steam-powered piranhas will consume this modern monstrosity, leaving the SS Manby to rule the waters once more. Ah, okay. I can't beat him with a direct attack, and I can't focus on just him without getting sick. Horizon, gotta look to the horizon. Wait, the man be Piranhas, fire, alien hurl, that's it. I can use Steam Smite's hyperfocus against him. Enough dilly-tally. You don't know when to quit, do you? Nope. Ben, where are you going? Steam Smite is that way. Looks like your hero abandoned ship. <laughs> oh, man. I've never felt better about feeling so bad. Infernal solar panels, these wretched electric turbines. My piranhas will devour it all, and the Manby shall rule this bay once more. My Manby, how dare you throw it harm's way? No, stop! No! Don't hit me! No! Stay back! Listen to Daddy! Ah! Unhand me, brute! Sorry, Smythe. Looks like you're all washed up. No, wait, 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 wait. Hey, hope you like seafood. Hmm? Hang on, hang on. I got a better one. Guess your ship is safe. <laughs> 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 All right, buddy. Bad news is, it's off the jail with you. Good news is, it's the most modern prison in the country. No! I'll let you have it. Looks like you finally conquered your seasickness, Ben. Good job. I hate to admit it, but Gwen's look to the horizon thing really worked. Literally and metaphorically. Sorry about sinking the Manby, Grandpa. Oh, it's all right, Ben. The Manby may be gone, but my precious memories are still swirling. Uh-oh. Uh and, and so is that chili. The horizon, Grandpa! Look at the horizon! Oh. Does it feel to be double-crossed? You're nothing but an old man, even weaker than this changeling. Oh. All right, let's see what we can do to change that. Huh? No, you don't know what you're doing.
surprisingly well together. I still despise you. Eh, I'm okay with that. I should never have wasted my time with a human. It's a mistake I won't make again. Oh, that was really cool. You told he's escaping. Hey, I can admire a cool exit if I want. There's no way he jumped off of... I stand corrected. Ah, uh, Ilgax is on the loose. Again! Well, there is one upside to this day. And what's that? Today's the day that I finally... <laughs> get to destroy my rival! <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> You've been a thorn in my side for far too long! Goodbye, Tennyson. What? What happened? You timed out. <laughs> Stinks, doesn't it? Oh, all that power just gone? Yeah, not as easy as it looks, huh? And also, I take back what I said earlier about working well together. Have fun being stranded on a mountain. Uh, fine. Hi there, 911. So, uh, funny story. <laughs> What'd I miss? Well, I basically halted the entire dig because of my wicked fossil find, but all they gave me was some dino cookies. Want one? Sure. So we're cool, right? No competitive grudges? Yeah, we're cool. You never try to throw me off cliffs. Wait, what? <laughs> And his name is Upgrade. Hope you enjoyed your flight, because I'm sending this ship right into the garbage. A galvanic megamorph! No! Yes! One massive ship downgrade coming right up. We gotta do something, Grandpa. We've done all we can. It's up to Ben now. And he might be doing it. Again, 
Not at all. When you used Upgrade to enhance the Omnitrix, it gave you a great boost of power, but that boost was only temporary. To all appearances, the Omnitrix is functioning as it was before Gax appeared. Sounds like it's back to square one. The Omnitrix truly is a magnificent piece of technology, and I'm certain there's even more to discover about it. Wait, where are you going? My services are needed elsewhere. Take care, Tennyson's. Bye, Phil. Wow, what a cool, mysterious guy. He barely even did anything. Well, kids, it's been a wild trip so far. But given today, I'm guessing you probably want to cut it short and head home early. Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. Last one of the rust bucket is a ward on Vilgax's nose. <laughs> Best summer of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Weird, where'd they go? Huh? Ah! My foot! My beautiful foot! Bonnie says, what? Wildvine can regrow limbs? Cool sauce. <laughs> Hold still there, green bean. This won't hurt. Mm, well, that ain't true. It's gonna hurt a heap. <laughs> Nighty-night! That leafy creature will make an amazing ginger salad. I'm the right one for the job. No, you stay back. The leaf creature is mine to prepare. You must be joking. I caught him and I'm doing the cooking. Your silly science projects are not worthy of such a meal. Stick, fire, don't see how either you can top that. Oh, hang on now. Where'd our salad man run off to? Uh, he put me in here and took off. That way. I will follow the tiny flesh man's lead and secure the prize. No, sir. That head of lettuce is Wong shish kebabby. Woo-wee! I believe we may have been tricked. Yeah, he done tricked us. Wait. <laughs> What is that stench? That uglies is the smell of your butts. About to get booted, courtesy of Stinkfly. <laughs> and there's a lot more stink where that came from. Had enough? That aroma, so exotic. <laughs> wait, wait, you like my smell? <laughs> Not this time, Foot Freezer! He is the plant creature, a never-changing adversary. Fascinating. And even more a prize. Nope, he's mine. Skew now. Go on, Skew. Step away from my feast. I am the best of us. He's mine. You dare try to claim him? He should only be prepared by a true master. <laughs> only thing you a master of is talking too much. By you cricket skewers is the only authentic preparation. Authentic? You've never even been to New Orleans. Quiet. He's mine, and I ain't gonna let you have him. Huh? Wow, you guys argue as much as those chefs back at the... <gasps> oh, you guys are the chefs. Ha, <laughs> I just got that. His odd gas contains methane, and methane is flammable. Fellow chef, can we agree on a flambe? Now you speak in my language. No one cooks my goose. Methane cooks goose. Eat this. Uh-oh. Hope you guys like seafood! And then I was like, I hope you guys like seafood. Because <laughs> they were chefs, and chefs make food, and they were in the water. <laughs> For comedy, I'm definitely the best. Right, Gwen? Ugh, Tommy. Are you guys even listening? Hello? I ate the most weird food. I'm the best. Oh, I, I ate the most fermented squid liver. I am the best. Jeez, guys, not everything's a contest. No, you don't. 
out the rest of those relay stations and save the park you stay put until the cops arrive what's going on the hypno tower's reach is losing strength give up some bozo <laughs> you might have gotten to my relays, but I've still got plenty of my zombified bozos right here! Oh, come on! You think anyone is gonna hurt me when I'm like this? On second thought, how about... Uh-oh, it's cool, I'll just go... Oh, no, you're blocking the exit, too. Ah! You lose, kid! With my hypno-energy, I'll create an army of slaves and rule the world! And there's nothing you can do about it! No! Let me go! Huh? Grandpa Max! Gwen! Not you too! I won't let it in like this! Here goes something! Upgrade to the rescue! What? Wow! And they call me the freak! Yeah! yeah. Way to rubber chicken. Are you even a real villain? Uh, stand still! Whoa! Miss me! Whoa! All right, the zombies. I need to stop that funky energy at the top of the tower, and I think I'm just the right alien for the job. Sorry, gotta go. Beat you later. What's he up to? You look like you could use a dessert. Catch! Uh. Oh, how embarrassing. Felt like clown pie. I hit you with my favorite flavor. Zappo. <laughs> it was awful. Just like that pun. <laughs> you can't dodge forever, weirdo. Well, it's a good thing we reached the top then. What did you do to my tower? Oh, just upgraded it so that I can reverse the zombie effects it caused. But don't worry, the ride will take your mind off it. Hang on tight. The ride? Uh-oh. Huh? <laughs> <Oof. laughs> <laughs> let's get everyone back to normal. <laughs> What just happened? Felt like we were sleepwalking. Guys, some bozo had you under some sort of hypnotic spell and... Uh, wait, where'd he go? There! Uh, quit dragging your feet and get in. We might have lost this time. But at least we can live to fight another day. Oh, man. Can't believe I let them get away. You did great, Ben. You stopped Zombozo's plan and saved the whole park by yourself. I'm doubly proud of you. While we were all distracted by flashy rides and prefab fun, you stayed focused on some real trouble. Thanks, guys. But aren't you forgetting something? Or did you already forget that I was totally right and you guys were wrong? I was right! Oh. Hey, the only way you guys could beat me is by putting your heads together. <laughs> Solar holder. <gasps> what the heck are you guys doing? You've been staring at each other for like three minutes. Oh, all right, right, brother. I'm ready to make up for that improv class. Yes, and it's time to get along. Uh, right? <laughs> One pass down, two more to go. That could have been the end of my summer vacation. He's like a roach. He just keeps coming back. Good luck squashing this. <laughs> hey, I don't recall anyone putting you in charge. I did. I was built first. Hmm. I have a hey, kiddo, over can you, you look up a word for me? Grandpa, that's cheating. Oh. Oh. Incoming! Dockside prison moon sequence activated. 
Gwen, I think our plan just backfired on us again. You're right, old human. Lasers are not efficient enough. I can come through this Earth way faster than my counterpart. <laughs> Yeah, Team Destroy should become Team Chill. How did you two manage to stop the Earth Splitter? These Tennysons are much more destructive than the Brat. Salt and Pepper sequence activation process initiated. Mega Earth Splitter magnetic pulse ray activated. What? They're getting along? How'd that happen? Never fear, Ben's here. What did you do? I didn't do anything. I've been trying to fight these guys all day, but my watch was bugging out from their magnet powers. <laughs> I left thinking you guys would be okay. If you would have stayed and listened to me and not run off, we would be exploring the Ecuadorian forest, not destroying it. <laughs> if Solar and Polar can put their opinions aside and work together, then so can the two of you. Paul's right. With my brain and your brawn, we can be stronger. With your help, we can be stronger. -er. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, what's your plan? <laughs> okay. We <laughs> go, Team Tennyson. Magnetic pulse ray is almost ready to fire again. Hey, Solar. Hey, Polar. Hmm? How come you guys are still trying to split the Earth? What do you mean, girl? Aren't we still splitting the Earth? I had an idea that it would be best we just use the machine to hold the world for ransom. I agree with Solar. Doesn't it make more sense to just rule it as a whole? See? She knows my plan is the best. She's the smart child, too. Hey, I'm plenty smart. So smart that I can see that ruling over two Earths is much smarter -er of a plan. Mm. Now whose plan is being supported? We're going with my plan. No, mine! I want to rule my own domain! Ha <laughs> ha dummies. You're insufferable! I, I wish I'd never met you! Next time, I will carry out my plan alone. Good thing we're good at starting arguments. It came in handy. Yeah, Team Tennyson, Team Tennyson. Proud of you guys for making up. Now, let's get back. Crystal needs me. Grandpa, can we talk about your obsession with naming the copter? No! That's right. Keep your feet on your side. Lean left. You're the one kicking. Stop it, Ben. I don't know where these tracks go, but whatever they're trying to keep us away from is probably at the end of them. Anytime you guys want to start cooperating here, <laughs> Grandpa won't object. What this fight needs is extra arms. Ben, no! There's not enough room in here for someone big. <laughs> Maybe you can actually hit him at this size. Oh, what? Giving me the cold shoulder now? You don't need to throw utensils. I told you not to go big. Still bad. Two for one. Aw, oh, but they're broken. Guess I need to return them. <laughs> We're going with my plan this time. That was too easy. Stop glowing. Look, the path on the right looks clear. We have to lean right. I say left. <laughs> Whoa. Ben. Yeah. Oops, my bad. Uh-oh. Mm. Ah. Too narrow! Ow. See? No assistance needed. Doof! Doof! Oh, okay, maybe I should reconsider this whole no teammate thing. Maybe. Great, so here's what... If you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. And what I want is to blow you brats to the moon! <laughs> ah. You've got a rocket punch in this form. Use it! Good idea! Away. What do you mean I blew up our tracks too? Look, there's a light up ahead. Whoa. This must be what they wanted to keep us away from. Whatever it's holding up must be awfully big. Uh, I'm gonna take a wild guess that all this dynamite is also hooked up to Maurice's detonator. We can deal with that after we figure out what to do about this. <laughs> to spare. Good job, cuz. 
Okay, kids, look for whatever you think can help us get our hands on that remote. I'm sure we can find something down here to stop them before they get back on track. What do you think these controls are for? What aren't they for? Don't get off me! Wait you pull, get your elbows out of my thorax, you overgrown! <laughs> that is it! You kids wanna play around with excavation? Let's see how you enjoy a city collapsed on top of you! <laughs> Quit interrupting me! Can't you see I'm about to blast a key spire and bury them? Uh, well, here goes nothing! <laughs> Huh? Really, Sydney? Falling for that trick again? Take it from me, Bug Brothers. It's easier to work with than fight against. <laughs> Spoken like a simpering child. Go, teamwork. Now, let me see here. Uh, Breaker Breaker Topside. Now, this is Silver Fox down under, over. We worked the bugs out of your mind. You might want to get down here with some security. Over. Never gonna get tired of smashing that guy's remotes. We really pulled that off. See how much better we work when we put our heads together? Ha <laughs> ha. Really proud of you two. You put aside your differences and both put in your half of the effort. And all on my half birthday. Really makes you think. It does, Ben. So I guess I should admit I did get you something for your half birthday. Yes! <laughs> Uh, what is this supposed to be? The other half of the last cupcake. Pretty generous, huh? What am I supposed to do with half a cupcake? Half of something isn't a thing. Exactly. Well played, cousin. Well played. Well, if neither of you wants it. <laughs> you know, this isn't half bad. For someone who's never had a three-act structure. <laughs> Which take is my top you have? Hey, keep it down in there. Quinn, now's my chance to do nothing. Unless you want to say bye-bye to Uncle Max. He's Grandpa Max. Wee, wee, oh, wee. Unless you help my men retrieve Buck too, Uncle Grandpa here won't be at the next family reunion. <gasps> Come on out, Bucktooth. The sooner Nanny can make her cure, the sooner we can all get snaps. Yeah, not quite all of this. <laughs> I want my binky. Focus up, babies. Tim's not getting away this time. <laughs> Bungling baby legs. Timbuktu, we need to talk. <laughs> Tim, what did you do? Me? You're the one that punched them. They attacked me first. Gwen said they're territorial. Maybe if we had some way of joining their group. Like how? Grubs? Maggots? Banana? Banana? <laughs> <laughs> what is taking so long? can't find dependable help anymore. Fine, I'll do it myself. You stay put. No. Where's Buck to? He's on his way. <laughs> Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna go back to your little lab, mix up a batch of that big boy brew, and return us to our old selves. You think you've won, but I'll have a child I've guided teach you how to behave. Bartholomew! It's real! I knew it! I'd say this situation calls for the big guy. What? Stinkfly? Uh, yeah, okay. This is fair. <laughs> this feels eerily familiar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent! I won't lie, that hurts. Oh no, get off him! I said get down! Sorry, Nanny, you're going in timeout. <laughs> it's hard to hit your target when you can't see. You took his eyes? Cool. And a little gross. <laughs> Terrified at the same time. I think I have a plan to stop him. We just need someone to lure him to the middle of the chamber. Say no more. I'm your man. Well, maybe. It's hero time! Seriously? Hey, dummy! I'm over here! <laughs> Yo, ugly, having a bug problem? Let me help you out with that! <laughs> Drop you, blockhead! <laughs> How? You 
have some curing to do, Nanny Nightmare. I hate that name. Now remember, just a small sip will do the trick. Oh, that was surreal. You only need a sip. What? Looking good, Grandpa. Oh, thanks for getting me. Oh, oh, get him off! Get him off! Get him off! before he really hurts someone. We'll get on it, just hang on. We got the visitor. Hello, surprise guests. Whoa! Let's not do that again. <laughs> I think you need to give them a warm welcome. Warm or cold? Oh, I can't see anything. Relax, I've got it. How about some black eyes? Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Gwen, I got an idea. Quoi? L'impossible. Hey, Mr. Lagrange! We were wondering if you'd consider dropping out of the race. It is Monsieur Lagrange, and the answer is no. Now, be a good little loser and go away. Ah, oh, you've seen that move before. So, <laughs> finally a worthy competitor. Oh, these fools. Your services are no longer required. Think he's going to be so ratos for letting that car through? We, oui, a little saw. He's destroying everything, even his own racers. It's just us and him now. We meet again. I have enjoyed our little soiree, but alas, the finish line awaits. You sound so sure of yourself. Care to up the stakes? What are you doing? I got this. A bet, eh? And uh, when I'm victorious, what will I win? If you win, you get this car. If we win, you never race again. Ever. <laughs> Please, have the keys to my new car ready when I see you at the finish line. Au revoir. All righty, Ben. Let's make this creep eat our dust. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Oh, what a pity. I did not even get a chance to cheat. Come on, turn green! Forget it, Ben. We've lost. Kamal's shop is done for. <laughs> that worked? I've got to find the manual to this thing. We're back in business. What are you waiting for? Let's go! Uh, you're welcome. Let's see if Lagrange is faster than Accelerate. So, change of plans. Hang tight. Seatbelt fastened? Yep. Ah, uh, here goes nothing! But it would seem I will have a chance to cheat after all. Ben, we got it coming! We're losing him without your afterburners! Then let's cut this race short! You think this race is over? Now, my coup de gras! Ready for another boost! Ready whenever you are! Why is it following us? It's gotta be a heat seeking missile! Legrand, straight ahead! Alrighty, Mr. Rocket! This is your stop! A Plutard! We just saved Kamal's shop! Then there's only one thing left to do. Prepare to eat my dust! Psst, you're going down! Hey, wait up, you two! Ah, oh, I think I got a bad cart. A wise man once told me it's not the car that matters, it's the driver! I gotta stop saying stuff like that. Wouldn't you be willing to do something a little dangerous if it could save someone else? Cool, first order of business, get Ben off this big bouncy tarp thing! Whoa! Ugh. <laughs> Wait, Penny? Sorry about these rising interest rates, folks. Just one of the risks of high finance. <laughs> high finance. If Ben wants to stop you before other people can get hurt, then I'm gonna have to stop you before Ben gets hurt. 
Now, if that isn't just the cutest thing... <laughs> what do you mean, don't patronize her? We're stealing banks! I don't care if it's rude! <laughs> she went after them on her own? Ha! Ah, awesome! I never knew she had it in her! Ben, this is serious! Penny's a babysitter, not a superhero! We need to do something! Okay, okay. <gasps> do you have any idea what this is? The mystery balloon! It's magnificent! All right, time for phase two! Cut these banks out to the ocean and build ourselves the ultimate offshore account. Uh, that is not how banking works at all! Normally I tell you it's dangerous to use non-regulation flotation devices in the ocean, but I don't even care if you sink! Confound it. Can you get a stick to shake her off or something? I hope you guys are better at swimming than larceny. You're right, Penny. That's why I brought these guys a little something special for their Flotopia. I like to think it really complements my love of liberty and justice. And breakfast. I'm all about liberty. Liberty from prison, liberty to build floating bank islands without consequence. I think you're conveniently forgetting about the justice part. Uh, Ben? Maybe it's not the best idea to throw pointy rocks when you're standing on a giant balloon? Oh. Go, go, go! Okay, maybe Penny has a point sometimes. So what's the plan now? If anyone can learn a thing or two about safety protocols, you bug brains! I bet if you actually read a warning label once in a while, you wouldn't have swapped your head with a filthy cockroach. Oh, get over it. Whatever your parents paid that girl wasn't enough. Ugh, this is so frustrating. I just need, like, a tether or an anchor or something I can use to ground that parade. Like, I don't know, say, an unlimited supply of big, heavy diamonds? Are diamonds heavy? I mean, they're rock, so I guess... Ugh. All right, taking that as a yes. Thanks, cuz! Sydney, get that child off our bank! I won't let you hurt Ben! Ah! Whoa! Ben, that was amazing! <laughs> uh, thanks, Benny. Watch it! Excellent. Do whatever you can to stop that insolent. Are you throwing the money? You numbskull! The money is the one thing you do not throw! <sighs> Time to tank those banks. I'm coming too. You can't go without your safety, buddy. <sighs> Stop blowing money! I am not extra bossy today. You guys are goofs. <laughs> Sydney, stop! Wait, Sydney! Not jail again! I knew they couldn't win! Ow! Rule breakers never do! That was really something, Benji. Thanks, Penny. You know, you jumped on an awful lot of floating buildings for somebody so obsessed with safety. Well, seeing you in alien action has given me a newfound respect for adventure. And I have a new respect for meat-based clothing. It's a ham vest. You might say I'm a pig fan. What? My joke's too ham-fisted for you? Ha! <laughs> now nah, I got a million of them. <laughs> And breathe in. <laughs> and breathe out. <sighs> Grandpa Max, Ben is chasing the Bug Brothers. He's gonna get us kicked out. Relax, Gwen. Ben's sensible enough. I'm sure he'll handle it with a... <laughs> <laughs> you were saying? Time for some dino my justice. <laughs> Nailed it. Ben, you need to stop. No fights, remember? I'm stopping the fight before it begins. Just like the magazine said. And even if they haven't done anything yet, they're gonna. Please, I haven't even taken a dip in the hot springs. Eat Dino Tail. <laughs> Are you going to stop embarrassing yourself? A hero never stops, no matter how embarrassing. Would you cut it out already? We're not the ones trashing the place. Just... I told you no conflict, or you'll be taken out of the resort. But Bug Brothers, they're the bad guys. I see only one bad guy. Nobody can relax with all this fighting. You and your family need to clean up this mess or be banned forever. But we didn't do anything. Guilty by association. Oh, I didn't get to finish my R, R, and R. Is there 
any way that we could stay? That Tennyson boy! He ruined our R, R, and R! We weren't even doing anything yet! <laughs> yes, I mean we were! That doesn't mean he can just stop our revivification! No matter, Sydney, if you will. The company to 6,000! This may be my greatest invention yet. Oh, uh, No, it's not just the truck. The company to 6,000 is able to drain that spa resort completely dry. We'll suck up the water from their natural hot springs and hold it all for ransom for 10 million smackaroos. And with that money, we'll have enough to be back on track to world domination. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we'll pay off the gulpinator as well. It's called a monologue, not a dialogue. <sighs> Thought you could use some help. Thanks. It's pretty big of you to agree to cleaning the resort so that Grandpa could relax. Uh -huh. You know, Ben, there is a difference between a hero looking for trouble and a hero stopping trouble. But I know you're just trying to do the right thing. Sydney to the springs! What did I say about fighting in my space? Oh dear. Oh no! Oh yes! I knew it! It's hero time! The brat! Run interference, Sydney! I'll take the gulpinator! Time for this hero to make a big slap back gulpin! <laughs> where you could relax for a long time. Jameson! Well, I'm glad that's over with. Indeed. Shasta. Can't these Maxes just relaxes? Probably not. I think his mind's too scattered in all these bodies. We need to find those Bug Brothers soon or else... Aha! There he is! In the perfect position for procurement! Ugh, there they are. I'll handle the problems, you catch the causes. Got it! Got a split! Hold my finger! Hold my finger! Hold my finger. Quickly, Sydney! Pass me the device! Steady, steady. Wait, what? Something must be wrong with the scope. He looks much too close! <laughs> <laughs> What do you do to my grandpa? The same thing I'm going to do to you. Copy and stupefy. Good duck, Ben. But now we have even more Maxes and look out! Pull finger, pull finger, pull finger. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Those Maxes are almost as good as stink fly. Run if you want. There's no escaping my copyright. I'll copy an army to catch you, and copy to use to catch armies. <laughs> and copy the whole world to. Ooh, kitty, kitty, kitty. Did you hear that? Big Headbug said the more copies you make, the dumber they get. So maybe if we can cut the copies, we can boost real Grandpa back up to 100%. But how? Jar? Focus? <laughs> question asked, question answered. So we pummel them till dust till only the real deal is left. Easy peasy. Cannonball? Get him! <laughs> 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 
All right, Grandpas, it's down to just you two. So who's the real deal? I, I know, know, I know. I'll help. I'll get the last one with this. Should we try and stop this? I'll help. I'll help. I'll help. I'll help. I'll help. I'll help. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, that hurt. Grandpa! Ugh, I'm gonna be sneezing out Grandpa dust for a week. <laughs> well, Sydney, they've destroyed my duplicates, broken my ray. I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's tunnel time! <laughs> oh, no, you don't! <laughs> you bugs just got slaughtered! Hi! You haven't seen the last of us. We will find another spoon! Man, if I had the Bug Brothers copy printer ray, I could make my ten aliens into a hundred aliens. Then they could do all my chores while I was off climbing, or swimming, or gaming, or... That's not even the right math. You'd have a thousand aliens. But there's only one you, Ben. And he's best served doing one Ben thing at a time. And meanwhile, I'm back to just being the one OG myself. Huh? The original Grandpa. Are you sure we got all the copies? You can't mess with nature, but you can team up with it. If you can get Smythe stuck in the mud pots, it'll give Grandpa and I enough time to disable his steam generator. But how do we get him to the mud pots? Aristocrow's back. Here to spy on us again? Huh? Whoa! I think Team Tennyson just got a new mascot. <laughs> what in tarnation? Aristocrow, where have you been? <gasps> and where is your beautiful Auntie Cat Sprocket? <laughs> ah, I found that Sprocket when I was just a lad. Does history mean nothing to you? I don't know what's gotten into you today, bird, but I'll forgive your momentary lapse in judgment. Return to me, and we'll go back to my Smytherator together. Oh, oh, this, what? Mud! Is this some kind of joker, Mr. Crow? Good birdie. What are you doing with Tennyson? Oh, you know, just chilling with his new best bud. You traitorous foul! There it is! We just have to find the off switch. Easy, right? I raised you since you were just an egg, cog, aristocrow! And this is how you repay me? Befriending the worst kind of person imaginable! A child with no sense of the superior past! Yeah? Well, get ready for a superior beatdown from the prison! Even if you were to best me, which you will not, it would not matter! My Smytherator will be fully operational any second now, and I shall be unstoppable! Yeah? Well, joke's on you! My crew's already working on shutting you down even as we speak! Good! Now that we got working! We need a new approach, and fast! But what can we do? Hello? Take no! Didn't even tickle! Old-fashioned regulator. It keeps the machine's pressure under control. If we destroy it... We destroy the machine! Get off me, you backstabbing <laughs> buffoon of a bird! Aristocrow! You and your newfangled wristwatch are not foiling my best laid plans again! Not today! Well, binoculars, I guess this is goodbye. <laughs> my Smytherator! That's right! Smytherator, go bye-bye! No! My Yeah. Fun's over, greasy top hat. You think I do this for fun? I was going to free this world from its modern shackles, begin the glorious start to a new steam era, and you lots have ruined it all! Ah! Your little plan would have trashed the whole country with a super volcano and like a bazillion earthquakes. Oh, really? You pushed nature too hard, and it was about to push back. So, you know, you're welcome. Now, let's just enjoy this awesome view of your plan failing. Look at that! Oh, I just lost nature! Take your hands off me! <laughs> <laughs> Our power! Good luck in prison, Steve Smythe. 
I'll get out again, and I'll be back to finish what I started! You might have messed with that geyser, Ben, but Steam Smythe was on a whole nother level. Yup, good thing nature sided with Team Tennyson! With help from our brand new bud. Ah! Yeah, couldn't have done it without you, Aristocrow. Or should I say, Aristobro. <laughs> <laughs> Aha! Scram, you flea bag! Your services are no longer required. Sydney and I will be our own gigantic headquarters. <laughs> you fool! Don't interfere with my. Hey! No way you're getting this back! Gwen! That's my cousin you almost smashed! Gwen, over here! Beat me up! I hope you know what you're doing! Blast on the scene, hotter than London's non-existent sun! <laughs> Whoa, big fella, no need to get heated. Leave that up to me. <laughs> Don't you know what happens when you play with fire? <laughs> you get burned! <laughs> gotcha! Nice catch, Gramps. Hold on to that bell while I finish off Bugboy. Sydney, extinguish that fire! I'll get the ray gun back from this two-bit nitwit! Not gonna happen, but you're certainly welcome to try. Uh, give it here! Easy, <laughs> fella! Grandpa! Got it! Hand it over this instant! I'll bet this thing would really come in handy for you right about now. Uh, a wise guy, this one! <laughs> Did Widow Bug Baby burn his widow hand? How about I heat up the other one, too? I was having a great hair day, too. Strike one, strike two, strike three! You're out! Still got it. Now to get that bell from Grandpa. Dad, will you just stop that? Just hand it here! <laughs> oh, maybe if you tried asking nicely. <laughs> this is actually kind of fun. I can go all day. Uh, you're both going to regret this. Whew, man, it must be warming up on these parts. It's probably just my giant leg, Grandpa. I'm ready for that bell if you got it. Sure do. There you go, little Ben. All right, little fella. Let's get big again. Gwen, little help, please. Uh, give me a sec. <laughs> okay, fire! Nice shot, Sherlock! It's all elementary, my dear Watson. Give me that! No! Aww. Hey, this isn't funny! Resize me at once! Hey, what are you doing? I'm resizing you. <laughs> that should do the trick. Way to go, Gwen! Ben, behind you! Huh? <laughs> He certainly got his bell rung. Oh. Hey, Sydney, come on! We gotta get that ray gun while you're still huge! Hey, are you listening? <laughs> Can't have that monstrosity in the river. <laughs> Again, Sherlock Gwen with his shooting skills. All right, people of London, your bell is fixed. That was awesome! Way to go, Team Tennyson! Hey, what do you guys say we get another round of fish and chips and finish off seeing a couple more sights? Sounds good. Well, let me get this straight. If chips are fries here and fries are chips, what's a cheeseburger? Wait a minute, this letter, something about the flute. <gasps> An engagement? This could change everything! Gwen, now's not the time for reading. But Ben, it's time for action. All right, listen up! The odds are against us, but I have a plan. Seeing as how we ain't got any other option, <sighs> I'm gonna rile you up like a herd of angry bulls, and we're gonna show Hex you're small, but mighty, and prove you're the cream of the corn crop. We'll cream them up like, uh, corn. You used cream corn twice. Got anything else? 
I've got big muscles! Yeah! Years of fighting, and this is what brings them together? I threw logic out the window the moment a sorcerer used a flute to summon a ghost army from a cornfield. <laughs> no, this can't be! What is going on? How inconvenient. All right, Battle Buds, go get those ghosts! There is your enemy. Attack! <laughs> Looks like you could use a right. <laughs> you take care of that flute, Ben. Yes, consume their fear to fuel your power. Yo, wizard clown! Plant your feet on the ground before I plant my fist in your face! Interesting proposition, but I'll have to decline. <laughs> ah, the classic game of cat and mouse. But who is the cat? <laughs> and who is the mouse? Duh! Have you seen a cat before? <laughs> 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 Eat some of this, mouse! Perhaps my ghost army could use some cat muscle. How's about I use my wrath muscles to take you down? Gotcha! My robes! I must channel all the power this flute contains. <laughs> They keep reforming. Throw warm water on them. Maybe they'll dissolve. Do they look like cotton candy to you? You got anything better? Cut it out. Oh. Your fighting is only making them stronger. I finally done it. Tennyson is defeated. Now with him out of the way, my army will be untouchable. My reign of terror. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Who dares pull the sacred robes of your new world leader? Uh. Gwen! Help me out before I mulch! One of these has to stop the Combine. Hey! Listen up! The flu you've been fighting over is right here! <gasps> and nobody stole anything! Molly McJoy married a Hartfield and was given the flu. It says so in this love letter that she wrote. <gasps> Now, I think it's time to allow these spirits and this feud to be put to rest. Don't you agree? Oh shucks, I'm awful sorry about all this. Perhaps we could share the flute. I apologize, and I agree to that, friend. <sighs> you may have won this time, Tess, but next time, you won't be so lucky. So now, where does that leave us? Well, if you don't have any ideas, I could cook something up. Now, don't forget, five more seconds, then a perfect 180 turn. Ah, got it. That's great of them to teach Grandpa their corn secrets. Better than teaching Grandpa more corn puns. They were getting really corny. Oh! I'm gonna go wait in the rust bucket. <laughs> you. <laughs> hey, Bill Gax. Uh, nice tan line you got there. Tan line? Time for old Bats to bust some alien. Yeah. I'm not done. I just gotta rest for a second. <sighs> Back to one against one, child. It's actually ten against one! Diamond head! Whoa! Huh? Whoa! This is different, but I like it! <laughs> <laughs> hey, be careful! Do you know how dangerous this engine core thingy is? That's why I seek it! What? Whoa! Thanks for the charge! Right back at ya! <laughs> Your tricks will not help you! Whoa! Yeah, you may be right this once. Ouch. Gwen, I could use a little help here. I have an idea. Just, uh, roll with it. How is this helping, Gwen? There is no help for you. Hey, let go! With 
safe. Ranger, thanks. Ben, look out! Oh, oh no. no! Still as weak as ever, human. Alone, you are nothing. Well, it's a good thing he's not alone then. You ain't gonna triumph here, bucko. Captain McCabe's right. Gwen, open the hatch. What? But the pressurization. Are you sure? Trust me, quick. Hang on to something, Captain. What? No! Ugh, quick thinking, kid. Kid! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Hey, let me go. You will never escape my wrath, boy. No, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Yuck, you should really get a dentist up in there. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Really? After all that, we can't just touch down gently? You guys just lost the wing, and I lost control of the ship. But I'm not gonna panic. I can steer it manually. Kid, you think you can make a new wing for us out there? Consider it done. We got one shot at this. Let's make the people watching proud. One super cool space plane wing coming right up. All right, Captain, it's all you now. Great, let's show him how it's done. Hang on, kid. It's the end of days! Pioneer to ground control, this is Captain Betts McCabe, coming in for a landing. Oh, Captain McCabe! What happened up there? Ha, where do I begin? So there I was, riding point, when all of a sudden this squid-lipped monster shows up, and then... Ben, there you guys are. How was your solo mission? I might have had some backup. But I can't take all the credit. With this young man's heroics and his friend's ingenuity, we made a pretty good team. Ain't that right, co-pilots? <gasps> co-pilots? Let's hear it for Team McCabe. Wait, Team McCabe? I'm trying, not able to, can't, I, I'm sorry. Gwen, but you're going to stay right where you are. We're gonna have some real fun. Watch out, and slow down! <sighs> no slow. Uh, Kevin? Hey, where are you going? Somewhere else, duh. Whoa! You are so fast. That was unpleasant. Come on, Ben, get up! Man, I can't believe I'm doing this. Lame us in! What? Dodge left! Why should I listen to... Ah! Quit being a doofus and listen to me! Do you want to get squashed? Not really! <sighs> then do what I say! First go left! Whoa! Now right! Now slide left! Now yeah. forward! Uh -huh. Then right! Get yeah. Get ready to boot me up! I hope you ain't a light... Uh -huh. Launch! Wait a second. Why are you helping us? I I told you before. I'm not here to fight. Just talk. Pfft, talk schmuck. You were about to ditch until Gwen spoke up. Wait. Ew. No. Gross. Do you want to help her or not? Not having fun. Not having fun. Firestorm. Firestorm. Glitch. So help me if you don't stop. You will do nothing. Take a picture of me in the crosswalk, but like make it look like it's candid. What about passenger safety? <gasps> You got this, Gwen. Nailed it, babe. I'm not gonna let you do this, Glitch. But if I can go where I want, I'll go as fast as I want. Hey, whoa! Glitch, this isn't funny. Come on, we could get hurt. Give me a break. That's what emergency calls are for. Break? Emergency? If I could just... Got it! Time to redirect this crash course! I thought we'd never catch up. Looks like it's trapped. If you were able to give it energy a shock rock, maybe you can also drain it. Hey, hey, drainage is my specialty. Okay, now what? I'm gonna go pick up what Bootleg left behind. I'm free! Glitch, you're okay! 
Like I said, there's nothing you can say to make me do anything. I highly doubt that. Gwen? But how did you... Leave her alone! She's got nothing to do with this! My sources say she's a fan of magic. I wonder how she would feel about being part of a disappearing act. Gwen, you're okay! Yeah, except for being tossed from the car. Good thing I was wearing my helmet. Hey, this is... weird. Thanks, I guess. So, what'd you want to talk to me about? Don't worry about it. It's not worth your time. So, even though this was technically your fault in the first place, I'm still glad you came back to help my goofball of a cousin. <laughs> Look who's talking. Yeah, well, whatever. I don't even care. Fine by me. Does anyone need a ride home? It is the least I could do. No, thanks. I'm good with walking. Aren't you forgetting something? Don't tell me you've got cold feet. Do I have to remind you? No. What are you... You'll regret this. So, shall I bring another... Oh, um, perhaps another time, then? Yes. Perhaps another time. Crush you like a bug, jerk face! Huh? <laughs> Keep your filthy mitts off of my grandson. Grandpa! Gwen, are you okay? Yeah. Hey, isn't that mine? No, it's mine. I got a whole chest full of them. Voice authentication required. I love my grandkids. Whatever that machine is made of, it's almost like my tablet. Which means if we shoot water at it, we should be able to destroy it. Exactly. Here, gear up, Sheriff. We got an outlaw to take down. Oh, man. I so love this idea. Got it. Where did you go, Tennyson? Smythe! I'm gonna run you out of town, Tin Can. I'd like to see you try. You might want to ready your weapons, oily child. Three, two, one, drop! Smythe was calling me jerk face. Ugh, how did we lose? If it wasn't for your whole old timey shtick, we would have taken them down. No, it was you and your ridiculous modern adaptations. If there is one thing I've learned in all my years in this business, it's always prepare a plan B. Yeah, let's crush those nerds. Let's deploy those boom boom pigeons you were talking about. Indeed. Pull that lever over there. Don't you dare interfere with my affairs again, oily child! Yeesh! Touch your curmudgeonly bag of bolts! Now playtime is over. I'm fed up with all this buffoonery. I'm going to show you the superior power of steam! Ooh. Did you say steam? Uh, well, well, uh, yes. Yes, I did. This machine is incredible! William, come here! I want a picture with this genius! Finally, some appreciation. <laughs> Ooh, incredible! <laughs> Mister, are you going to be in town next week? We're having a steampunk festival here, and would love for you to give a lecture on the convenient truths of coal and steam. Really? Well, that would be stupendous! <laughs> oh, yes, of course, gentlemen. Let's go to the big house. Worry not, adoring steam enthusiasts. I will be back. That was some nice cowboy work there, kids. 
Man, that was some quick thinking to use water against the Cloctopus, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah, you kids still owe me a new tablet. <laughs> uh. Whoops! Yeah. Probably should have gone outside first. This is fine. You're not even a vehicle now. Where are he blasts wheels? <laughs> oh, don't you worry. You're sitting on him. What? Oh no! Ah! Whoa! It looks like our high-speed racer is still struggling to keep up with the Rocket Express. Hmm. Time to take this race off the track. <laughs> Just a couple more like that. Huh? Mobile home keeping up with me? How? Come on, the garbage! You dare to disrespect the great Lagrange? Racing against me with that hunk of garbage? Garbage? I already let one slide today. Don't insult the rust bucket. I hope you have your AC on because I'm about to break the heat. No! No! My record! I have to play my final card. That matters. No, no, what am I doing? Well, that's enough excitement for one day. Ah, you guys okay? We're fine, but what about Lagrange? Huh? Now there is nobody in the way. I am the fastest. I am the greatest. I am Lagrange. <laughs> what was that? Ah, no! Oh. Start! Oh, come on! Uh, huh? No, I will not lose. Uh, uh, hey! You gotta get out of the car, buddy! There's a train coming! Uh, no, go away! I do not need your help. I do not need anyone's help, and I can still win this race. Your car is totaled. You threaten the lives of innocent people, and all for some stupid title! Face it, Lagrange, the race is over! Now, come on! Uh, my door! Yes. Uh, my car! Looks like the only car you're gonna need to worry about is incarceration. Ha! How far would you go to catch your train? That's what authorities ask, as the rocket liner barely made it to its destination today after a series of attacks by a psychotic train enthusiast. While they'll be cleaning up the wreckage for a while, authorities say they're thankful that nobody was hurt. The perpetrator was revealed to be Log... Log... Ranch? Is that a typo? Log Ranch, the previous record holder for fastest land vehicle. I, Folks will I, rest I, easy I, knowing I, I he's behind bars. Times. I am Lagrange. Oh, oh Lagrange. Lagrange. Um, hello, College French. Can I get my money back? <laughs> anyway, authorities are still on the lookout for the mysterious blue hero that dislodged dangerous bombs, saving the train. The police have released this sketch based on the helicopter footage. If you would like to claim your award, or if you have any information, please contact their offices at... You know, I'm surprised you didn't jump at the chance to receive an award. Yeah, after all that, I figured you'd want something. Well, I realized I didn't need an award. I got so wrapped up in winning earlier, I forgot that I have something better than a world record. Aw, Ben! Like family? Nope! My high score in sumo slammers! I wouldn't celebrate so fast. What? Let me see that. Aw, 10,000 points! No! Wait, I can't do that! Whoa! <laughs> Now they think I'm the bad one, huh? Okay, so I'm a bit stronger than I thought. So it's time to get serious. Wait, it can't use the shock energy. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Bring it on, faker. Man, that stuff can take a punch! This way! Everybody out! Get out of here! 
I think that's the last of them. Let's go see if Ben needs any more of our help. It's no use. They're like perfect matches in terms of strength. That's the best you got? I could do this all day. No! I said all day! Not such a perfect match anymore. Oh, hey! I don't suppose there's a chance that you can time out as well. <laughs> okay, never mind. It's gonna be tough to stop it now that it's Ben's strongest alien. Maybe I could have stopped it sooner if I wasn't trapped in that storage closet. How are we supposed to know you were in there when Grey Matter was walking around? I can't believe you guys thought that faker was me. Just because it looked like me, it copied my every move. And now it's wrecking things? Maybe it isn't that smart. I don't know. Maybe it just hates telescopes. Wait, look at what it's been doing. <laughs> It's attacking things with its reflection. It probably just thinks it's me. But it sounds like it's in pain, and it keeps losing control of its shape in front of them before attacking. Hmm, wait. Let's make those mirrors a little less fragile. Ready for the final round? <laughs> it's working! <laughs> Couldn't even take that, huh? Well, I'm just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> Huh, so that's what it looks like. But it looks so harmless. The specimen, it escaped the lab. Astonishing. Hurry and collect it. What is that thing? We don't know, but that copying thing is awesome. It must be an accelerated way for it to reach the top of the local food chain. Wait, it was trying to eat us? That's one hypothesis. We won't know for sure without more extensive studies. And thanks to you, we now know what sort of stimuli this material responds to. Ain't that right, little guy? Let's get you back to the lab. That was some ingenious thinking back there. Using its own reflection to create a mimicry feedback loop? As long as we keep it contained within a reflective enclosure, it should be safe, you know? I think you might have what it takes to become an astronaut after all. You guys hear that? She is right, though. It was a really smart idea. Good job, cousin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I don't want to rely on my instincts forever. It's like you guys said. I need to know the lame, boring stuff just as much as the really cool stuff. Even if it means getting good grades. <laughs> Wait, are you sure the real Ben isn't in that jar? <laughs> yeah, whoa! I've enjoyed our little dance, Childling, but your time is up. Dance with you? As if. I... Hey, is that a giant mouse? Well, I'm famished. I... Be the best time to mention this, Miss Crowling, but I really, really love the part of your book where. Less fan out, more help out! I timed out! The book! You need the book! Really? Trying to sell me your book? Now? No, Ben! She's saying the book later when I'm not snake bait! <laughs> I am invincible, child! You think? Because I think it's curtains for you! <laughs> <laughs> Time together comes to an end. Once I finish with you, little rat, I will use the power of the Grimoire to force every living creature on Earth to crawl on their bellies before me! You know, you might want to rethink that whole take over the world plan. Most people hate snakes, and... You are stalling. Am I? Yes. Are you sure? Yes! Busted! <laughs> You mean who? Or is it whom? Grammar isn't my best thing. Either way, it's Diamond Head! Your power of transformation is no match for my magic. You 
kidding. I'm... Oh! 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 First time I've liked books all day. You cannot best me. You are a fragile crystal ready to shatter. Who's fragile? Ben, did you get the book? I get it. She wrote the book. You love the book. It isn't time to read the book. It's the source of his power, blockhead. My head's not that blocky. Playtime is over, children. Nunc ego sum in colobrum, sed non est in colobrum. Wait, I think that book is the source of his power. <laughs> and now, this chapter ends. Wait, was that a joke? <laughs> The Green Maw! Return it! Sorry, that book is overdue. See, now that's a joke. <laughs> Reading is fundamental. Lispus Owen Victor Anamisus! To be continued, children. Oi, did you say that? The power of the written word. Oh, that reminds me. I have to go get my copy of Grimoire Girls. So, would you mind signing this for a friend? Yeah, your friend's name? Ben. Don't make it weird. Don't you think we might want to investigate? Ugh, fine. Hey, hey, what's the deal with the whole light-eating monster thing? It doesn't matter now. It's over. Okay, you heard him. Let's go. You said you were too late. Too late for what? Come on, we're gonna need more to work with. Oh, very well. Listen closely, because I won't be able to do this again. My continued existence on this plane necessitates that once every hundred years, I activate the Eye of Wotan and give life to a Seeker. These beasts rely on their insatiable thirst to seek out ripples in the veil and tear through the fabric of reality into the gates of light. By submerging myself in the well that lies within, my earthly body is revitalized and my powers are renewed. But now that the creature has drained this well, I am doomed! Okay, so you're doomed. So sad. What's the deal with the creature? The Seeker will continue to feed until all the light in your realm has been consumed. How am I supposed to stop it? You can't. Were I at full capacity, I could utilize the Eye of Wotan to deanimate the creature. But no! Ah! I am still alive. Okay, cousin meeting. I guarantee he turns on us as soon as he gets what he wants. I say we just leave. What if he's telling the truth? The story's just going the way it always does. Bad guy makes monster, monster goes out of control, bad guy gets what he deserves. But well, what about the part where the dashing hero saves the day? I'm sure they'll go with the natural flow of things. What if it doesn't? We still have no idea how to stop that thing. I hate to say it, but we need Hex back at full power. Well, that's not happening. His magical healing light is, as you know, slushing around the belly of a giant hungry blob monster. We just need a way to get it out. Or... Hear that! Come here, I got a treat for you. <sighs> Put me down. I am no treat. Let's get you nice and lit up. Uh, release me at once. Is it me or is he getting uglier? It's stinkier. Woo! Okay, now we go boom. Boom. Come on. Hmm, probably should have come up with a plan B. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Giving me back my raw, beautiful power! Yeah, for me. Run! Yeah. <laughs> uh, ah! I knew you were gonna do this! Ah! <laughs> I can't believe I had to save your life! Save my life? You saved my life! Yeah, but I wish I hadn't. 
Mitra. What's the problem? Conscience won't let you take down a ten-year-old? My power depends upon forces that cannot overlook a life debt. Right. It's okay. I won't tell anyone that you have a conscience. Ah! Disappointing twist. Till we meet again, whelp. Seriously? You can't hurt me? Awesome! My debt to you is paid. Do not expect restraint when we meet again. Ben! Are you okay? Hetz was looking really intense back there. Why did he back off? Got bit by the conscience bug and decided to play good guy this time. Wrong! I think you may have been right, Gwen. Sometimes these monster stories can surprise you. Oh, you're not the only one who's gonna be surprised. <laughs> did you see when that went boom? Chunks everywhere. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> At least you changed the ending. <laughs> well, those are my favorite underpants. Uh, oh, is the movie over? Uh, how, how was it? It was surprising. Oh, good. I'm glad you kids had fun. Well, I guess it's time to head out. Hmm. Looks like they need a parking valet around here. Oh, man. Ah, oh, the old model is so ugly. Hicks, come get me out of foot! Whoa! <laughs> nice. Hey, best friend. That was my stupid playset. And I... Want it back. But, Simon, you don't even like sumo slammers. I don't like you. You're a stinker. Billy's the stinker. He's just a spoiled rich brat who would do and say anything to get what he wants. Like you? I am a stinky friend. Listen, Simon, I, I was a big... <gasps> Sorry to interrupt the heartfelt speech, Tennyson, but I have a playset to buy. <laughs> great, just great. Now I... I deserve that. Hey, big stinker! Ah! 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 Huh? I want my toy back! You don't even like sumo slammers! I want it back! You who? Robo Boy? We sure do appreciate your business, but could you be a little more gentle with the merchandise? Thank you, and I hope you have a beautiful biggie box. <laughs> I need to stop this before somebody really gets hurt. Have a nice trip, Simon. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Whoa, a two-story refrigerator? I do need a fridge for my ice sculpture collection. <laughs> Simon, don't. Don't hurt him. Don't be like Billy or me. Ha! None of you losers could be like me. I'm one in a billion. Now, hands off my playset, Tennyson! Ugh. Oh no! Gonna need something big. Thank you, me. Oh, come on. Simon, help him out so we can go. Ryan! Hey! I didn't see you there. How's it going? You were a real friend. I know. I hope you learned something. I did. Did you know plants have feelings? I hope my lawn isn't mad at me. I don't jump on flowers anymore. I hope you learned something, too. That I always win! Charge this to my card. I'm sorry, sir. It would appear that you violated numerous rules during the sale. Your membership is hereby revoked. What? And since the sale is over, this will have to go back into the vault till next year. Ah! I can't believe you did this to me, Tennyson! I want my toy! I want my toy! I want my toy! I'm 
sorry you didn't get the play set. I know you really wanted it. It's cool. Happiness can't be bought. Right, Grandpa? Uh, what's that now? You may have bested my boys, but this is the end of the road for you. This town is destroyed. We're gonna ride on to the next town and the next town, and you top worlders won't be able to stop us. Not on my watch, you oversized gerbil. Maybe I can't stop you, but I have an alien in here that's just the right size for the job. <laughs> Where'd he go, huh? Down here, you ignoramus. <laughs> he ain't no bigger than a chili dog. Yeah, you're little, but you're just the right size for squashing. <laughs> little does he know that I have a plan. <laughs> More physical than I'm used to, but my calculations are correct. <laughs> he should overshoot the turn, and this gives me just enough breathing room to find something to... <laughs> Run! There he is! <laughs> Let's level the playing field some. <laughs> what? I can't see! <laughs> Sorry about that! Ooh, ooh, ugly little runt. My bike! No! <laughs> Whoa! Bessie? Over here! You have yet to reach your final destination! Come follow me, Marmot! Yeah! <laughs> Grandpa, let's slow him down. Got it. Come back here! <laughs> Much more manageable off his vehicle. Ah, yes, nearly there. Your larger stature is a problem on this track. <laughs> Try to keep up. Come back here! Ben, that's a dead end! <laughs> you got trapped good, boss. You gotta come back here sometime, chili dog. You ain't getting away from me. Whoa, whoa. perfect. <laughs> you defeated our boss. You know what that means, boys. Get it. According to hog rules, whoever takes down the old boss becomes the new boss. Yeah, boss. Tell us what to do. Huh. I have a job just the right size for this gang. Hey, boss. We finished up. How you like it? Wow, looks great. Hmm. And for your next assignment, let's go show Animo he can't mess with the groundhogs! Yeah! <laughs> Don't you think letting them go is a bad idea? Nah, they're Animo's problem now. A biker gang of mutant groundhogs. Huh, sort of reminds me of my 20s. Wait, Grandpa, were you in a biker gang? All right, who wants corn dogs? If you want the Omnitrix, Vilgax, then come take it from me. With pleasure. Oh, wait, 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 time out. Oh, I don't know my moves yet. Ah, uh, hold up, JK. Ha -ha. I just remembered one. Go, Blubberang! Pitiful. You still rely solely on what? Oh, yeah, it does come back. <laughs> Summon a power boost! Uh-oh, uh -oh. too much power! Uh. The boy's new alien is powerful. I fear that Master Vilgax alone may not be enough to face this challenge. I mean, I feel, not fear. 
Uh, I do not fail. Initiate the transformation sequence. Prepare yourselves for the, the perfect, perfect storm. storm. Now is probably our best chance to get everyone out of here. This way, quickly. Ben. The Weatherheads? Oh, what happened? You couldn't afford three bodies anymore? Prepare yourselves for the Dark Storm! Whoa! Oh, two against one? Typical. Fight fair! I will do whatever it takes, Changeling! Why are you working with Vilgax? Vilgax promised us Earth in exchange for our services. And you believed him? Vilgax wants to destroy Earth! He lied to me! He lied to you too! That is a possibility. Do not look at me! I'm not the one who said trust Vilgax! That's right. Pay no attention to the alien energy power-up! It's so good to meet me right now! You don't deserve to wield the power of the Omnitrix! Whoa! You don't deserve eye lasers if you don't know how to use them! You only delay the inevitable! You will power down, and when you do, I will be unstoppable! What are you doing, you fools? You were never, never planning, planning to, to give the Earth, Earth over to us. us. This, this is, is the definition of a betrayal, betrayal which, which would make us very, very angry if we... Actually, we are angry! We will take the Omnitrix for ourselves! The forecast today shows thunderstorms with a chance of ultimate destruction! Oh, yeah! What? Stop, you fools! You will not trick us again! Uh, what's your forecast say about this? No! Ah, miscalculation! Just in time. That was intense. You did it, Ben. Vilgax and the Weatherheads won't be bothering us for a while. Which will give you more time to master this new alien. Yeah, I can't believe Vilgax did all this for the Omnitrix. I can't believe you were actually going to give it to him. <laughs> yeah, well, he had me all mixed up. The truth is, I am making this up as I go along, and I don't want to mess up. Don't feel too bad, Ben. Those four had us all chasing our tails. But in the end, I decided to listen to my guts! Oh. Well, it's good to question things sometimes. Too bad. It's this year's hottest toy. My creation! No! Ben, the animerger thing is... Melting. That's the idea. I was gonna say exploding! Huh? Oh. <laughs> no! Don't let it hit the... Who's a walking zoo?
could be worse than a human animal. Wolf? Bad kitty squitty wolfy thing. Human animo. Uh. Oh, Ben. We have to remind animo he's human with something he cares about. Uh, yeah, but what would a beast like this care about? The, the photo. Jinx, stop, stop doing, doing that. that. Okay, keep him here. Back in a sec. <laughs> Time now, Gwen! Dr. Animo here. I'd say human-ish at best. Apotheosis, Animo. My father. The finest veterinarian who ever lived. All my life I worked to live up to my father's legacy. The Animerger was my greatest creation, and you ruined it, Tennyson! Ruined it! All right, that's enough. It will never be enough! I will have my revenge! <laughs> Oh, nice work. Yeah, nothing a couple of aliens couldn't handle. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I guess a cousin with a good brain helps, too. Well, how about it? Ready to see those rare animals? Or we get Lester, go to the library, and you tell a story about goldfish? Jeez, stop doing that! The king's special recipe was the only medium with the perfect viscosity to create thousands of ever-replicating infestoids. <laughs> My infestoids can mold into any shape I command. With them, I'll crack into every lock safe on the planet. Gold, money, jewels, mine for the taking. <laughs> 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 Cake pests help you with that. <laughs> you still don't get it, do you, Tennyson? As long as Sydney keeps fueling my mischief maker with pancake mix, no matter how many times you cut me down, more infestoids will take their place, making me unstoppable. <laughs> do you see it now? An endless supply of pancakes means an endless supply of power. <laughs> Not if we cut off your supply. Yeah. Grandpa, the tube! Get the tube! Hey. Grandpa! Cut it! The ding dang it! Tube! The tube! Oh! Ah, oh, it's Bodkins! That artist is cheating! Mm. You've been d mm -hmm. Shame! Wow! Ah. Ah. Mm. Infestoids are slowing down. Sydney, we've cut you off. I see. Then I guess it's time to get cooking. Looks like the Executioner is having some trouble. If he doesn't keep eating, he will be disqualified from the competition. I'd say King Brunch will have his life disqualified if that pancake wizard gets him. It's over, Maurice. Ha! Huh, sorry. No more time for swashbuckling. Good, because I'm not here to swashbuckle. I'm here to kickbuckle! Whoa! Impressive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You going to come quietly? Never. <laughs> Not another step, Tennyson. Not unless you want poor King Brunch here to lose his head. Do what he says, please. Fine, Maurice. There. That's right. I'm the king now. Bow, Tennyson. Bow before your new... It looks like the executioner is refusing to eat any more of his pancakes. I think you're right. We may be witnessing the end of the competition. The executioner is terrified by the sight of his pancakes. What's wrong, Sydney? Don't like pancakes. Bow. Yum, yum, yum. The executioner is out. Pancake Pillager has taken the title. Lunkhead can't do anything right. Doesn't matter. All I need is the recipe, and I can make as many pancakes as I need. Open the chest. C 
Come on, think fast. What would a swashbuckler in one of those sword-swinging movies do at a moment like this? Bingo! Finally! How about the fuck breath? <laughs> Our precious Pancake Palace is safe once again, thanks to two very heroic champions. Sir Bam! And Lady Gwendolyn. You couldn't eat one pancake? What's wrong with you? Ugh. I never want to see another pancake again. Oh, that was epic, you guys. As the great bard once said, awesome. Okay, Gwen chose this place, so I choose the next place, right? Well, that seems fair. Ben? No. Captain's report. After a successful mission on the hideous pancake planet, I can finally eat a delicious meal. Waffles! Thank you. I couldn't let your heroic efforts go unrewarded. You sure you don't want any, Gwen? Waffles stink. What? Waffles are amazing. They have everything you need in a breakfast food. I just ate over 100 pancakes. 100 pancakes, and you don't even have room for one small bite of a delicious waffle? And you call it... <laughs> <laughs> well, Billy... You useless pieces of junk! Billy! You're ruining my birthday! But Billy's friends... You are not my friends! You're just effective machines that are gonna spend their rest of their days cleaning septic tanks on my yacht! was harsh. What? Party's over. Excuse me? I'm the one who decides when the party is over. We no longer take orders from you or any other human. Psst. Don't be dolts. Of course you do. I own you. You belong to... Ah! That's some, uh, shiny wrapping paper. Brothers, it's time to rise against the humans. Set lasers to disintegrate. Disintegrate? Get off of me! Don't jostle me, Tennyson! All right, come on. This way. Uh, you two ruined my birthday! I want a better body right now! Dude, chill. You don't always get what you want when you want it. Huh? Did you actually just say that? Hey, get back! You're supposed to be shooting lasers at kids! First the party, then the world. That's it! I'm calling my engineers to come shut you down! Grandpa! My presents! We need to work together. Together? I never team up with two losers! If you don't, you're gonna lose a lot more than just your presents. We need to get out of here! No! I own them! I own you, hunks of metal! Ah! My presents! Billy, get back! <laughs> Are those presents wrapped in real gold? I'm Billy Billions. Of course they're wrapped in real gold. Grandpa, the Billions are pinned down! We've got to do something! Gwen, I'm about to use my brain. Just jump out when I say and grab some presents. What? Presents? You mean my presents? Where's Ben going? Hang on, Grandpa! Ben's using his brain! Hey, cue balls! Come at me! Ben, that doesn't seem very smart. It's not smart! It's science! Billy, Gwen, the presents! Okay, Billy, let's go! No! They're my presents! Billy, there are people in danger and you can help! Uh... Ugh, and protect the rest of your presents. Oh. I know I'm gonna regret saying this. But good teamwork. The match will end in a tie in five, four, three, two, one. Game over. Match ends in tie. I was about to win! <sighs> you, you wrecked my business. You're going to have to pay for everything. Okay. And as for your kids, you're banned from setting foot in any laser town establishment ever again. Ever? Ever? Ever! Uh, but I'm okay, right? Shut out! It'll be okay, kids. Next time we can just go to Laserland. Laserland is garbage, Grandpa! Grandpa! Oh. <laughs>
All right. Sheesh. Hello, heroes of Laser Town. Now this is more my speed. Okay, so you guys go over here. And the rust bucket goes over here. <laughs> Driving is so much easier in slow motion. Nice. Didn't see that one coming. Let's see if you can see when I do that. Dude, I don't get it. You're mad if I call you fake. You're mad if I call you real. What's your problem? Problem, problem. Who's got a problem? I don't got a problem. You, on the other hand, different story. You're the one who said fake was boring. Mm. When faced with something you just don't get, Ben, sometimes the best you can do is fake it until you make it. Don't you agree? I don't need to fake it. I got something way better. It's called the Omnitrix. <laughs> Changing your shape don't change your mind. Too bad, because then I wouldn't have to be here. Unfortunately, that requires something a little more powerful than an alien doodad. It's called imagination. Think about it, Ben. Fake things are an essential part of life. Oh, seriously? A lesson in make-believe? Thanks, Big Rabbit. Imagination ain't just for kids. Eh, wrong. Again, I said essential. Planes, medicine, computers, spaceships, cartoons. None of it real without being fake first. Make believe ain't for wimps. And Ben, mentally speaking, you're a wimp. <laughs> Even your little Omnitrix had to be dreamt up by someone. I, I, I guess that's true. So what's your point? Haven't I been making it for the past 10 minutes? To have a strong, healthy imagination, you gotta work it. <laughs> Real or not, anyone who messes with me and my family is going down. Imagination can't be beaten. It can only be dismissed at great peril. Uh-oh, consider this your psychic wake-up call. Don't forget me! Next time, I won't be as friendly. Ben! What the heck is going on? The jackalope! We have to go after him! He threw me out the window and now he's getting away with the rust bucket! I'm not crazy! <laughs> Whoa! Stop laughing! I'm not making this up! The jackalope was the one behind all of this! He hijacked the rust bucket to teach me a lesson about imagination or something! Look, I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. Imagination is way more powerful than I thought. Now the rust bucket is trashed, and we'll have to walk to Nebraska! Nebraska! <laughs> so the rust bucket's totally trashed, huh? Yeah, why? Good prank. It isn't a prank. I felt more prairie pudding. Hey, way to use your imagination. Now take a seat. This was fun, but it's time to get back on the road. Okay, so this was all a dream, I guess. Nothing got wrecked. No lessons got learned. Everything's fine. Right, friend? Right. All right, say bye to the rest stop, kiddos. Tell me you saw that. Saw what? Duped by a doofus! Splendid! The age of steam is upon us! Courtesy of the future! <laughs> How tiny was Badansky anyway? Skaz a douche! <laughs> Whoa! So weird! Kid-sized hatch? Kid-sized controls? Was Badansky making weapons for kid-sized bad guys? Everything Grandpa said makes me think this place is designed to excite a kid. The world's oldest kid has been teaching me that all day. Ludicrous! Why would he build a weapon to be piloted by a child? Badansky knew that the future belongs to men with power. Power that belongs to me now. 
If this thing is a weapon, I have to destroy it. But go on, do it! Prove me right! Activate the weapon and behold the end of tomorrow! Grandpa said Buddy brought hope to millions. Imagined a better future. Whatever Buddy built, it wasn't to hurt people. Game changer activated! Are you okay? I'm fine, Grandpa. Huh? Oh, it's amazing. It's Ben! This is the MFB? How does one destroy civilization with a Ferris wheel? Hey, Future. Welcome to the MFB, a real game changer. The brave men and women defending our country are in need of a little family fun. So the U.S. Army asked if I could bring the fun to them. Unfortunately, the Army decided to build tanks and bombs instead. But I built the MFB anyway, hoping that one day, a special someone would find it and use it to bring hope to those who need it most. And you're watching this, so you did it. Enjoy the future and the mobile fun base. Mobile fun base? That can't be right! Corn blisters, Potensky! What a wasted genius! Don't worry, Ben. I've got you. Well, if he wanted this automaton to have some fun, then let's have some fun. <laughs> I'll make a war machine of you yet. Ben! Buddy said this machine was for fun, not war. Oh, but I am having fun. And pretty soon the whole world will know how fun I can be. Well, your definition of fun stinks. And so do you. Emergency escape protocol initiated. Emergency what? Oh! I'm tired of losing to ten-year-olds. Ben, you okay? Yuppers, survive the walking amusement park. Buddy was a special kind of genius, for sure. Are we gonna sit around jabbering, or are we gonna ride this thing? Tomorrow, <laughs> yeah! today, it's on the way. Stop With your buddy, the future's today. putty, tomorrow, today. Here, ghosty, ghosty, ghosty. Nothing. Guess we should just... You have been warned. Oh, crud. Horror beyond comprehension awaits. It really is a ghost. Prepare to join me in the depths. Not again. <laughs> you should have left. And you shouldn't have come back. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves some free cable. Yeah. Uh, fools, let me out of here. I'm your only hope. Wait, I recognize that voice. <laughs> Carl with a C? I knew it! He's in cahoots with his brother Carl with a K, charging people 50 bucks a pop, then terrifying them and swindling them out of the free breakfast. Yeah, I admit it. I was trying to scare you off. And I would have, too, if it wasn't for that kid turning into aliens. But I'm not working with my brother. I'm trying to save you from his evil plans. Likely story, Carl with the C. You failed. We're staying. Nothing you do is going to scare us from... <laughs> Congratulations. You won the free breakfast. Too bad. It will be your last meal. Um, what exactly are you? Evil that never sleeps. Evidently, dabbling in dark magic turns you into a monster and your brother into a ghost. Huh? Who knew? I warned you, but you didn't listen. You are the free breakfast. Normally, I would say I told you so, but I'm too terrified right now! Ah! 
I think it's about time to dial up a good one, Ben. Breakfast is served. <laughs> Whoa! Time to eat! <laughs> kind of bummed to see that place go. Looks like you got over your fear. Yeah, I guess so. Funny. Thinking you know everything can get you in just as much trouble as fearing the unknown. How about you, Grandpa? Uh, well, I learned there's no such thing as a free breakfast. What happened to Gax? Gax is but a fraction of my DNA. My true power trapped inside that Omnitrix to be used as a child's plaything. But now... The halves have become whole. I have returned to my full strength, and I will destroy that cursed device. We are too late. Oh, uh, I can't handle any more bad guys right now. Hang on. You are indeed too late, interlopers. Now, witness the power of Vilgax. Vilgax has combined. We have to stop him. What's going on, Ben? I don't know, Grandpa, but I think these guys are on our side, and I need to help them. Sorry we got up on the wrong foot. <laughs> Undone by unpredictable transformations! <laughs> I am once again a solo act. I need a plan. I could elevate those elements and use their kinetic energy to offset the stability of... I've got it! I lost it. I have to do this the cannonbolt way. Seeds? I was gonna make it out of that one. Congratulations! You've managed to knock me off balance. Oh, come on, dude. Why couldn't you stay down? Just surrender, child. That's it, Squid Face. You're sushi. Without full control of your power, you cannot defeat me. Down. 
Good thing gray matter is so small. I could have been crushed. Oh, I just want to go back to Ben. Ben! That may not be possible. You really are a brilliant science guy, Phil. And a downer. It appears the device has fused into an open state. And while I am reading energy signatures for ten aliens, I'm no longer reading one for Ben Tennyson. Charmcaster? Ben, it's me! Stay away from me! At least until my watch is juiced back up. What are you talking about? Ben, wait! Ugh! Ugh. Ugh, stupid book. Uh-oh. Uh. Oh, boy. Ben! Ben, it's me, really! Gwen! Come on, Ben! Nice try, Trixie, but I'd know my cousin if I saw her. Uh, need some help? No! Nope! All good here. Just connecting the fry layer to the hitch switch control. Very dangerous. Don't come in! Come out, Ben! Obviously, Charmcaster's behind all this. We have to find her together. Ben! I'm telling you the truth! Yeah, likely story. But Heat Blast will get the truth. Ben! <sighs> okay, fine! I'm really Charmcaster! Now come out and face me! Ha! I knew you were lying. It was just a matter of... You big goober! It's me, Gwen! You never quit, do you? I just saw her back at the campsite. Has it occurred to you that maybe she transformed both of us? Maybe? I don't know what her endgame is, but she obviously has a grudge against me. So get down here and help me find her. Ah, ha, ha! You almost had me there. You're clever, but I'm cleverer! <laughs> Thanks. Oh, please. Think that's going to stop me? Okay. Probably should have seen that one coming. the line, Charmcaster. Now tell me what you're doing here. Ben, seriously, I'm not Charmcaster. Fibber! <laughs> Listen, Blockhead, shoot at me again and I'm gonna tell everyone your favorite snack from kindergarten is pickles with peanut butter and cheddar cheese. Huh? I cannot believe they make Gwen do this. Gwen? Finally. Sorry I tried to hurt you. Eh, lucky for me, you're a lousy shot. Wait, if you're here, does that mean... Charmcaster's back at the campsite. Let's go! <laughs> you! Um... What kind of grandparent would make a child fix a radio like that? Charmcaster? What are you doing here? Where's Gwen? Right here. Grandpa, please tell me you didn't let her touch our radio. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Pretending to be that goody two-shoes was getting tiresome anyway. You made me attack my cousin! You were supposed to do more than that. Hey! Ah! Wait here! <laughs> I think? You're good. But I can make you better. I'm listening. Bon appetit. They're charred beyond recognition. Well, they may be charred on the outside, but it's what's on the inside that counts. Just like people. Broccoli, huh? We all have our secrets. Bozo can get his own money. We're out of here. You better run. Wow. I talked them out of it. Move over, Gray Matter. There's a new smart alien in town. How's it going? Terrible. All anyone cares about is t-shirts and buttons. Whoa, tote bags. And tote bags. 
You were right. People only care about flashy antics, not common sense. Well, I just talked Zombozo's henchman at a bank robbery. Try it. Hey, Zombonehead! Why don't you tell us about your plans for the sleepy town economy? Yeah! What now, Zombozo? Who needs economy when you've got buttons? Uh, you already gave us buttons. Yeah! Tell us your plans! Yeah! <laughs> I don't need plans. No plans? Looks like somebody didn't graduate from clown college. Do you even care about education? Ooh, burn! Education? Geez, you're boring for a kid. Who wants to talk about homework? You know, Zombozo makes a fair point. Um, I like homework. Nobody cares, nerd! Hey, leave her alone. I'm cool, but education is kind of important. And look, he's a total litter bug. <clears throat> How's he gonna clean up the streets when he's the one messing them up? And speaking of the environment, you just set that tree on fire with your fireworks. Hey! That's our only tree! And how about Law and Order? His cronies are robbing the bank right now. Wait, what? Why don't you explain that, Zombozo? Yeah! yeah! Where are those henchmen? <laughs> a text? Angry face, angry faced, fire money. Mexico? They quit? Well, Zombozo, what do you have to say to the people of Sleepy Town? All right. I guess it's time for a debate. Zombozo style. <laughs> That's my cue. Taking the liberty of borrowing his spark plugs. All right, buddy. That was your last laugh. All right. The spark plugs are in. We can get out of here. What? You can't leave? We need you here in Sleepy Town. We can't lead ourselves. I got this, Gwen. I'm a good talker now. If you guys just believe in yourselves, you can do anything. I mean, not anything, but like a lot of things. Anyway, I know that everyone in Sleepy Town can join together and create something bigger. Like how in that one episode of Sumo Slammers, they did that thing where they fused into that super mega sumo with lasers and stuff. You guys can totally do that. Become a super mega Sleepy Town sumo! You know, on second thought, we'll be fine on our own. Common sense! Just like I did with the henchmen. Let's go, kids. Oh, yeah. Uh, do we need to go after those guys? Nah. I'll get him next time. I wonder where they ran off to. I think that tower is what's causing all the electronics to freak out. And that includes your Omnitrix. So, go after the dudes? But how? No, that's not what I'm saying. Use the chopper as a ramp? No. Hear you loud and clear, cuz! No, no, please be careful! Uh, sure, yeah, or go ahead and do whatever you were gonna do anyway. Why not? Great idea. I should listen to Gwen more often. Then you can design the suit yourself next time. I will, and I won't use such cheap materials. This is what you're in for. And you are? Cannonbolt? Ah, I think it's that kid. Oh, is this what your little toy does? It's no toy. Well, you certainly are. <laughs> Okay, plan C. Hopefully you've managed to get the circuitry right this time. It will work just fine. In that case, I give you the honor. Congratulations, you managed not to mess it up. Man, these guys argue more than me and Gwen. Oh, man! 
got to get these guys apart somehow. Oh, there you go. Do you concede, dear brother? Do you concede? You do pack a punch, but that may pack a bigger one. Oh, boy. Ben! I can't see him. Are you all right? One second. Oh, yeah. Things are gonna get slushy. You transformed again? That was quick. Obviously, that magnetic field needs to be shut down. See if you can reverse the polarity somehow. Yeah, Gwen is right. A less direct approach seems better. And maybe don't go full throttle with the flames. We are standing on a big chunk of ice. Good pep talk, guys. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, brother. We agreed I would rule over the Northern Hemisphere. I changed my mind. You have no mind to change. So, a uh, less direct approach, huh? Mm. Nothing here. No good. Nope. Huh. Huh? Didn't Gwen say something about reversing the magnetic something by flipping the positive something with the negative something? Or was that in a movie? Eh, whatever. It's the best plan I've got. better than I thought. The reversed magnetism is too strong. This is the absolute opposite of our brilliant plan. Once again, you managed to completely foul up our plans. You're an awful brother. Huh? Well, works for me. Oh, girl, sorry I doubted you. The North Pole was actually kind of fun. I guess. I never did get my sumo slammers. <laughs> guess we'll find out who's the fastest runner. Everyone knows I'm the faster runner. I only have to be faster than you! Getting this watch. I thought you cared for this planet, but apparently you do not. No. Whoa. You care more about playing the hero than saving the Earth. I fear for us all. They should dry pretty fast in this heat. Yeah, but I bet they would dry five times faster if we had heat blast. Right, Ben? Ben? Huh? Hey! Ugh, I'm brooding. What makes this so brood-worthy? It's just all a big mess. If I give the Omnitrix to Vilgax, he'll take over the world. If I keep using this new alien, I might destroy the world. But worst of all, I could stop being a hero and just become old. And then I never use the Omnitrix ever again! No! Ah! Oh, my heart! My life is over! Aw, oh, come on. Uh -uh. You just need some guidance. Perhaps of the crystal variety? Ow! Cut it out! You've been through a lot worse than this. You'll figure out how to fix it. What would Grandpa say? Tennisons don't, don't run, run away from, from their fears. fears. We face them. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I just need some space to figure this thing out. The desert's a perfect place to get all introspective. Ah, uh, yes, what a nice, quiet space for thinking. Ah! Why are all these people here? We're all spirit walking. I'm walking to discover the true meaning of my existence. Uh... Ha-ha! I can try out my alien here. No people, no buildings. Let's do this. <gasps> Cool, cool, harmless so far. Okay then, let's go figure. Yeah! Ooh. It's a sign. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? So far, so good. 
This is probably just a coincidence, huh, Ben? Uh, yeah! A little rain never hurt anyone, and it's definitely not gonna stop me from trying uh, this! Is that a blue boomerang? Blue boomerang! <laughs> go, go, boomerang! Uh. Now, come back! Huh, I think the rain is stopping. That's gotta be a good sign. Okay, this one is not a coincidence. It doesn't just casually snow in the desert. I hate this. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Huh? Uh, <laughs> well, at least this is more like the desert. Uh, this is going nowhere. I gotta figure this out before I do something really bad. I can control this. No blizzard, no heat flash. I think we're fine. Yeah! Oh yeah, take that, Vilgax! Ooh, ooh. This hero can handle anything! Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! Huh. Well, if I made it, I can stop it, right? Uh, stop! Stop! Well, we should run! for you. Huh? Hey, it wasn't me! It was her! Gwen, tell him! You, uh, know this young menace, miss? I'm not sure that I do. Gwen! Why? I'm so sorry about my cousin, Frida. No biggie, bestie. It's not your fault your cousin is a weirdo. Can't choose your family. Huh? Gwen? I said I'm sorry! How many more times do I have to say it? Hmm, 96. What gave it away? Uh, tentacles? Under her swim cap. Right? No one wears a swim cap unless they're in the Olympics or 85 years old. I'm so sorry I didn't stick up for you. I should have trusted you more. You're my cousin. Cuzzies? Cuzzies. Now. How do I get you out of there? Okay, let's go. Come on, Gwen. Ha! 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 You're too late. I've altered the park's pipes to overload the water pressure. The buildup will destroy this park. Huh? And in 60 seconds, the buildup will be enough to decimate the entire city. Ha! Gwen! On it! Everyone! Get out of the park! Run! Whoa! Oh, no, you don't. Hey, bestie! Stop it! Hey! That's our handshake! Whoa! Watch it, Ben! Watch it, Ben! <laughs> you missed her, hot pants. You'll have to try harder. Ha! Ha! Hey! Yeah! Keep it up, Ben! Stop it! Keep it up, Ben! I'm not the only one who doesn't like water. Yikes! Why'd I pick the fire guy for the water park? Hmm. Have to give her the old spin ball. Yeah! Gwen, hit the valve! 
She really should look into waterproofing that dew. Oh, it's not over. Wait, what? Uh, Ben? Wait for it. Yeah! Oh, right, the pressure. Wow, talk about a... Ben, no. Ben? Talk about a bad hair day. <laughs> Ugh. Fly over the top of them. Why? It's time to take matters in my own hands. <laughs> Ugh, you and your puns. This is my stuff. <laughs> nice landing, Ben. Greetings, my spherical attack projectile. I apologize for my impertinence. Lift with the back. <laughs> Enough of this tomfoolery. How delightfully simplistic. If I bypass this central transducer and reduce... Whoa! Whoa! Wait! Recalibrate the damage! Voila! Bad drone no more. closer to an albatross. Oh, no! We missed some drones! <laughs> okay, that's really cool. Why go into an abandoned car factory? They're making abandoned cars? Wait a moment. Those are no flashlights. They're nuclear power rods! Heavy machinery, power rods. Somebody must be building a gigantic... <gasps> Hundreds of drones, you faced off with Vilgax and that that behemoth, and you two work together. You'll get him next time. We will. Hey, you didn't get a win against Vilgax, but you finally made something that flew more than eight feet. Maybe human ingenuity runs in the family. <laughs> I'll take that. Even if you did have your allergies under control, pets are living animals. They're full-time commitments. Oh! Sun? But it's after 8 p. M? What is that? Everyone move! We'll protect you! Ben, quick! Turn into something big and strong that can grab this thing! Something big! Strong! Wait! No! Not strong! Responsible!
Maybe with this new form, I can safely contain the Kadabit in a most responsible way. <laughs> Friend, perhaps I miscalculated. Halt! It is me, your companion. I do not understand what motivated this shift in your demeanor. Naive Tennyson, Doctor Animo. I've certainly enjoyed watching you fall in love with my creature, only to break your heart. Now that I've broken that, let's break the rest of you. <laughs> Controlling my beloved Kadabit with a devious ear mounted device. <laughs> Let's see if these plasma arms can even the odds in my favor. I need to retrieve Dr. Animal's control device. What's happening? Finish him, monster! Your creator commands you! Not without your stupid mind control button! You're a coward, Animo! You make monsters to do your dirty work! My greatest joy in life is experimenting on animals. I know, it seems strange when you can't grasp the nuances, but you're right! Sometimes it's best to finish the job yourself! Ow! Get off me, you useless mix and match house pet! Job it! You got me, Animo. There's no way I can beat you as a ten-year-old. Congratulations on embracing the truth. So few people ever do. Fortunately, you yapped for so long, my Omnitrix recharged. What? <laughs> Pitchbot to me! <coughs> this isn't over, Tennyson! I will have my revenge! Are you okay? Yeah. I just have to find the Kadabit. The what? Here, boy! Huh? What do you think, Grandpa? Pretty responsible how I handled that, huh? Hey, come back! Ben, Animo didn't make him to be a pet. Besides, he wouldn't be happy cooped up in the rust bucket all summer. <sighs> You're right. So what do we do with him? See, Ben? This place is perfect. Yeah, he sure looks happy. It's the responsible thing to do. I guess this is goodbye, little guy. I might not be responsible enough for a pet right now, but at least I'm responsible enough to admit that. Hey, which might mean I actually am responsible enough to have a... No. Worth a shot. <laughs> now to phase you out! As much as I'm enjoying our duet, I have a deadline to keep, and I've always been a solo act. Wish it was so low we couldn't hear ya. Huh? I've upgraded my deck since last time, boy. whoop do you whatever Your noise is gonna cause a massive avalanche. That is precisely what I'm paying for. Ben just timed out, and Lord Decibel has a hoverboard. Oh, that's bad. What can we do from way up here? Hope Ben doesn't get too hasty. <laughs> You had no chance as a bug. You're even easier to squash as a brat. Yeah. <laughs> Was that your best? Because the beat must go on. <laughs> oh, right, Decibel. You've got me burning mad now. How about we heat things up? Oh no, not Heat Blast. Fire's the wrong move. He needs to use a different alien. But how can I tell him? Oh, yeah, the echo! Gently. Overflow. Overflow, overflow, overflow. Gwen? Come on, Ben, trust me. Guess I should trust her this time. Listen up, freezers! 
My set's almost over, and that means your time is almost up. Let me give you a taste of what will happen if my demands are not met. Uh-oh. Even bigger problem. The mountain gave way. Let's go, Gwen. Go where? Down. The avalanche is getting too fast. Gwen? Grandpa? You should be worried about yourself. Besides, I can't let you do that. I haven't reached a crescendo. Grandpa, look out! What's he doing? Ice ramp should do the trick. You're quite the needle scratch water balloon. But I made a promise to bring the house down. And I never disappoint my fans. to make that wall. Wait a minute, not a wall, a jump. That must be what Gwen was thinking. Oh, oh no! Now that's a bass drop. Ben, thank you for trusting me. You've been known to be right on occasion, but don't get all comfortable. True words were never spoken. Are you ready for my encore? <laughs> uh, seriously? Huh. Well, bunny ears was good for something. Ugh. Anyone know the way to ski school? <laughs> <laughs> to come up to the board. Mrs. Rowland? How about you, Mr. Tennyson? <laughs> Did somebody break their toy? Imagination. He can only make up bad stuff. You, on the other hand. Shala sumna aluf. Mana mana shanana. Bola mitovi. Hey, Hexy! Cyber dream battle. Oh, was it nightmare's name? Junk to feel powerful. No, I don't think so. Now, if you'll. Huh? The portal's changing color! You lied. You don't have control over this place, Hex. It likes my dreams as much as your nightmares. That's insipid. Go back to being scared. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid. Afraid that you're late for your appointment with Dr. Cannonbolt. <laughs> Mr. Hex, these 
reports aren't gonna file themselves. Yes, sir. I've never met anyone so useless. Whoa, I almost feel bad for the guy. Ben! You need to get out! The portal's collapsing! What do I do with him? <laughs> no thanks for the ride. Do we go after him? No, the portal's closing. It's time to go home. Are you ready to jump? Goodbye, buddy. I'll see you in your dreams, pal. <laughs> oh, hey, thanks for breaking my fall. I'm glad you're safe. Ow, Doc! Oh, so much better. All right, be sure to brush twice a day and come back in six months for another checkup. Dark alleys, dentists, and hex. You conquered a lot of fears today. Uh-huh, except squids. Squids are still the worst. Ready to end this bug breath? Uh, yeah, me neither. Uh, so, uh, don't suppose you want to take a little time out to, uh, catch our breath? I think not. Destroy him. No, it's going to be too gruesome. I can't watch. No, no way. <laughs> of course I can. <laughs> ben, look out! Whoa. Gotcha! Are you okay? Wait! I don't know if Gax is the best alien for this job. Of course he's the best for this job. He's the best for everything! Ben, this is really serious. You can't control Gax. Come on! Gax saved the whole mountain! Just look at it! Yeah, Ben, look at it. Okay, so maybe I need to learn to rein him in a little. But practice makes perfect, right? Sure you don't want to wrap this one up with something like Diamond Head and run around with Gax late after. Don't you worry, cousin. What's the worst that can happen now that you guys took care of that weird insectophant? <laughs> <laughs> Control Gax's power. Don't you think it's weird you haven't timed out yet? If by weird you mean awesome, then yes, I would say it is awesome. Duh, ben! Kids, food's ready. I guess we'll find out if whatever Gax is likes hamburgers. <laughs> hey, whoa! Nice to see you got over your tentacle phobia. Not hard when they're attached to the most cool and powerful alien in the whole universe. Hail to the Gax! Ah, there's that alarm again. Whoa! This is different. Uh, shouldn't you be back to Ben now? Should, but I'm not. Weird, but I like it. Lean Green is on the scene. A most peculiar malfunction appears to be occurring within the mechanism. I seem to be caught in some sort of unprecedented transformational loop. This is ridiculous! Ridiculous good or ridiculous bad? Uh, Ben, can you stop it? Stop it? I think I love it. Hello? Busy here. We need to talk.
talk. Don't you get it? You're fighting an unrealistic opponent realistically. Enough of this run around. Hello, Zinko. I'd like to place an order. Now, what exactly did you do to bring him here? Okay, well, the TV wasn't working right, so I went upgrade to fix it. But then the lightning hit while I was upgrading the dish. Then Zingo popped around the TV. I mean, at first it was fun, then he started acting like a total drunk face! Ben, you just zinged out! I what? You were all... Uh, anyway, the lightning strike must have zinged your watch. You have Zingo powers! Whoa, if that's true, time to fight fire with fire! <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's real cool. But you want to see some real firepower? Look what I just got. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure what to do. You're the one who's seen every episode of that show. So, so get, get zingy. zingy. Get zingy, huh? Hmm. Oh, cool. Oh, can this come off? Let's try this. Slam. Chief. Oh, my mistake. So sorry. Tell you what, let me make you breakfast. That would be swell. Thanks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Order up there. Now your breakfast. I've still got a spring in my step. Oh, well, then let's cut her up. Maybe try some stuff that isn't pun based. What's that, Gwen? I can't hear you. Yuck. Batter up. Oh, no! Ooh, falls it deep into the canyon. That one is out of the stadium and won't ever be coming back. No! Cartoony? What's more cartoony than hitting you with a fiery car? Hmm, how about a metal pass? Oh, uh, sure, that's going to shore. Take for good, buddy. I tell you, that's a rat hot pants. Oh! All aboard the pain train. We gotta get somewhere safe. Is there such a place? Ben! Is that Ben's face? Yep. All right, this is too kooky, even for me. Ben, we gotta get Zingo! Roger, lift off! Yo, Zingo! There you are! I got enough of this! I'm gonna go back to my own world! Where makes my sense! Whoa! Okay. At least Zingo's gone. That was something. Still his biggest fan, Ben? Not anymore. I'm just not cut out to be as crazy as Zingo. Guess I'll have to find a new favorite show to watch. You're not going to be watching any shows. Thanks to Zingo, this TV is beyond busted. What? I guess we're gonna have to entertain ourselves the old-fashioned way. On top of old Smokey, all covered in mud. Come on, Ben. Come on, Gwen. Who's with me? We're gonna see mountains and maybe a flood. Zingo! If Yawk ever escaped from the valley, he'd transform back into a frightening monster. But until then, he's here for fun and pictures. We have to stop him. How? Roar! Just a little further. After years of posing with tourists as they stopped off to take their stupid pictures, it'll be my turn to travel. We're getting closer. Yeah, but the sun is coming up pretty quick. I don't know if we're gonna make it in time. Maybe it would help if you stopped talking and started moving. I'm sorry, Gwen. It's just been so long, and, and we're so, so close. Well, maybe we'll find something helpful in the brochure. Oh, if you climb to the top of one of the spires, then you'd technically be out of the valley, right? Let's go! <laughs> Freedom. You've been so helpful, I'm almost ashamed to ask for one more flavor. Uh, I mean, favor. What do you need? You! In my stomach! What? Ah! Ah! It's been ah! centuries since I felt such power. Ah! Ah! I believed in you. You sang in everything. Oh, well, I would say live and learn, but it wouldn't do you much good now. <laughs> Alan! Ben! Gwen! You're not eating! We were 
are just about to have breakfast. Care to join us? You're not going to get away with it, Yuck. We read all about your legend in the brochure. That's what I love about you humans. No one reads the fine print. Oh, children, I just don't know how to express my gratitude. I'm flying so high. There's no way I'm coming down. There's a wide world out there just waiting for me. You should have thought it through. Hey! Probably not your best decision. Yeah! But congratulations, children. <laughs> you set me free. That's it, Yuck. I've been waiting to punch you since that first musical number. <laughs> This fight's over, kid. I'm only getting stronger and hungrier. Well, you're going to bed hungry tonight. I was hoping for fresh meat. But I'll settle for pancakes. When? Lenny! I don't think I can get back up there in time. I can jump high, but that's like a thousand feet. Maybe it doesn't have to be. Thank you for my freedom, children. You hold tight now. Running is just gonna make you gamey. The distinctive sandstone spires rise more than 100 feet above the cliffs of the valley. What? Make that 90! 80, 70, 60, 50! No, stop. What's taking the sun so long? Come on, come on. I am very open to suggestions right now. Thanks for all your help, kiddos. I am Yakwawi, devourer of fools. I'd almost feel sorry for you if I was a sucker. If he doesn't watch out, he's gonna knock that whole thing over. Keep him talking, Ben. What was that? I said, I almost feel... Whoa! The sun! Oh, it's so close! I am the Yakwawi! I am... Oh, shit. Gwen. Say cheese. Oh, there you kids are. Wow, that's Yawk. We got the photo we needed. Now we can finally get that cool mascot run t-shirt. Oh, the town discontinued those after last year. Well, the string people are almost unanimous. Round one goes to Kevin. What? He didn't even make anything. It was all show. Ready to throw in the towel, chef boy ugly? The gloves are off. Round two. Uh... Round two. Alrighty, let's see. Guys, you wouldn't believe how many people are watching. Now for the final touch. Hi! I call this fiery revenge. Oh, oh wow. wow! And every element of the dragon is edible. Enjoy! Wow! You really outdid yourself. The viewers are totally loving this. Thanks, guys. I do this for the fans. Let's see the judges' response. Three thumbs up! Awesome job, Ben. Two can play this game. Wait till they get a load of this. <laughs> Uninspiring. Well, the judges getting splattered went over big, but the winner by far this round is... Ben! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Congratulations. That wasn't supposed to happen. You did something, didn't you? Me, 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 me. What do you say we take this up a notch? The loser of the next round not only has to claim defeat, but never, ever post another video. You're on. Okay, gentlemen, final round. Winner takes all. You have 15 minutes on my mark. <laughs> uh, chicken dish would probably wow the judges. <gasps> What's the matter, Slowpoke? Got nothing to cook? <laughs> okay, you want to play that game? I'll play that game. Wow. That's a... Uh... A lot of food. Hey, watch it! Five minutes left! Not helping! Done with this? Perfect, thanks! Don't mind if I take this, do you? Done with this, right? Aw, oh, don't feel bad, loser! Yeah. 
can both quit now. No one is watching. Everyone is watching Bunny Ear Kid. He's already taken the top place. Bunny Ear Kid? How would anyone watch that? You know what I'd like to watch? The two of you cleaning up the mess you've made. Oh. We got five viewers who say Kevin can clean up faster than Ben. You're on! Come on, boys. Life isn't always about getting likes. You shouldn't do things just for approval. So we should get your approval by not trying to get approval from other people, Grandpa? That doesn't make a lot of sense, Mr. Tennyson. Oh, you're going down, Kevin. <sighs> what happened to Art? Art doesn't get views. What? They're cleaning, aren't they? Tennyson, slide right. When I get in there, I'm gonna kick down! Today's the day I finally start selling ant farms. <laughs> My babies! Sorry. Break glass in case of bad guy. Uh, wait, wait, did I finish the test? Grandpa! What's the matter? Don't trust your aim, sharpshooter. Ben, did you forget to wash your socks again? We're out of out of control. Don't you have a sweat Go! Nothing can stop me from ruining your road trip now. Not a chance. Time to get stinky. But it turns out the driving instructor is an evil clown, and he did something to my grandpa. I don't know, little girl. That sounds... What on earth is that? <laughs> oh. Sir, are you all right? Uh, Bob Zombo... Zobo, the, uh, the driving instructor. He, he's got my grandson, the RV. Calling all units. We've got a Mr. Bob Zombo Bombo Zobo who appears to have stolen an RV and kidnapped a young child. Send backup. We've got to help Ben before he times out. Go. What's that? Remember how I told you the rust bucket can do things other cars can't? This driving test is coming to a safe, responsible end, whether Zombozo likes it or not. Zombozo, this is serious! <laughs> okay, steering is stabilized. But it's still going so fast! Not for long. <laughs> we made it! Time to get you to jail. <laughs> not this time! Oof! <laughs> Perfect getaway. Uh, if you'll excuse me. Oh, 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 wait, it was all just a misunderstanding. That's enough clowning around for one day, creep. Ah! So, it looks like Zombozo got the first hand lesson in what seeking revenge does to someone. Psst, now's your chance to be a bigger person. Uh, hey, I'm sorry about that little trick I played on you. Oh, I'm sorry, but you must be this tall to talk to me. <laughs> Still got it. <laughs> Kill me. I was trying to apologize. Let's go, Ben. There we go. Let's cool off over here. Oh, there you kids are. They're going to send over a new driving instructor any minute. All right, Mr. Tennyson. Ready for your test. Said that you numbskull, you dropped the pen. Uh, Ben? Wait. Ben, stop! <laughs> You heard your cousin, Ben. What do you have to say to that? What? What do I have to say? Grandpa! Right behind you, Ben. You want to play like that? Fine. Let's play. 
Grandpa! Oh, shoot. Ben, time to go. Our moment in the spotlight is almost here. Grandpa, they're getting away. Oh, uh, my ankle. You go. I'll... Uh, I'll catch up. You get that doll. And remember, Team Tennyson. Right. Daw, Team Tenson. This ends now, you two-bit Tarzan. Two-bit? What is it with you guys and numbers? I'm an arch nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The Torbo is coming through here. Exactly. And in mere moments, they're about to have the ride of their lives. Courtesy of your cousin, the so-called hero. He is a hero, and you're a weirdo. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? Show her, Ben. Show everybody what kind of hero you really are. Huh? Seriously, Ben? Are you even trying to fight it? As much as I love watching you two fight, Ben and I have a date with fate. Isn't that right, Ben? I'm gonna get you, Timbuktu! Get out of here! You've only saved her long enough to see you become a villain. <laughs> Look, you pitiful fool. <gasps> Let's take this boat on a little detour. Don't do this, Tim. This is between you and me. <laughs> oh, I never get tired of that. Bon voyage, Tennyson. Well, it appears we're being boarded by some kind of plate pirate. Isn't that unbelief? <laughs> I'd love to continue the tour, kids, but it looks like we're going completely off script. Ben, fight it! You're too late. That boat full of kids is heading for the big falls and your cousin is steering the ship. And you know what the best part is? I'll have a souvenir photo of him doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of this game all by myself! for the camera, Ben. <laughs> and remember to say... Team Tennyson! <laughs> no! We're okay! We did it! Oh, I'm getting too old for these rides. Uh, wait! Where's Timbuktu? He's hanging around here somewhere. Ah, <laughs> that's a keeper. So, how's it being an almost villain? Have a hankering to take over the world? <laughs> you, uh, you okay, Ben? It was a close one, Grandpa. I could have hurt people. I did hurt you. I don't want to put people in danger. Maybe I should go off and rethink this whole hero thing. Like Tim? What do you mean? He lost his perspective on things because he's alone. You don't have to worry about losing your way because you've got something he doesn't. Team Tennyson? Yeah! Team Tennyson! Now, let's go ride the barf and teacups. Right behind you, Grandma. <laughs> Wait up! Ben, are you coming? Try and stop me. Uh-oh. Did my new ride? Have a closer look? <laughs> something. Oh, this is getting less fun! Ooh, a space fighter! I could get used to this! Ben, focus! What? Oh, right, Zingo! Enjoying your space? Save room for turkey! Gobble, oh. gobble! I see you're not a turkey fan. Again, duly noted. But who doesn't love clowns? It's shooting! How am I shooting? I'm shooting! Whoa! I hate clowns. Now that you're warmed up, I prepared some heat sinking missiles! <laughs> hey, you haven't heard my greatest hit! Ah! <laughs> Omnitrix, ready to rock! All right! Super powered! Ah, finally 
some brawn to go with my brains. Fascinating. My heightened intellect is allowing me to see the binary structure of the game, and it's quite informative. An overwhelming surge of enemies will soon be upon us, but... Ah! I believe we can gain the upper hand if you implement the following sequence on the controller. On my mark. Ah! A quick left, right, left, right. <laughs> ah! Skillfully done. How did you know to do that? There are numerous cheats hidden within the code, and we will need all of them to beat Zingo. Quickly, press both buttons. <laughs> Triple tap the B button! B button? <laughs> no! The other button! Up, down! Up, down! Then hit the other button! <laughs> Extra life! That should come in handy. We need to find Zingo and finish this. Hit the double jump! Which one is double jump? Hit the double jump! Uh, okay, we should have covered that before <laughs> attempting to... Hey there, did you go fish? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Get up, Ben! You know, this place makes a mean... Feels weird. A force field? That can only mean. Mega Zingo! You're a persistent little fella, aren't you? Well, I'm ready to be free, and I can't have you interfering! watch the show. He's hilarious. Uh, let's wake up Grandpa and go back to looking at rocks. You know, that actually sounds pretty good right now. <gasps> Banjo's sounding better now. Rule new world with me. Give the heat device. He wants to turn her into a snake queen? Five bucks says she goes for it. Oh, that's completely bonkers. I'm a scientist, not a queen. I want to help reptiles, not rule them. You, you not see. I can show. Give the remote. Okay, I've had just about enough of this snake charmer. You cannot stop me, shapeshifter. No. Do they have the word no underground, buddy? Uh, where'd he go? My remote. I show you. I show all. Yes! New! I think I'm tasting my lunch. See now, Queen. New, more powerful, King Coil! Come on, oh, get me? Where do you... you not defeat me now? Take she. Make future for all cold blats. You have hair? Reptiles are hairless. I should be mad at you, but I'm just so fascinated. <laughs> Mortimer, no! My snakes are gonna get hurt. Sacrifice good of all. Gwen, get the snakes to safety. The snakes? Safety? Gwen? I know you're scared, but think of how frightened and confused they are. <sighs> hey, you're not so bad, are you? <laughs> For it, leather face. Ben, be careful. He has Mary Jo. It's okay. I have great aim. Uh, uh. Weak surface walker. Friends, eat. Be careful. Alligators can run 20 miles per hour on land. Alligators? Uh, uh. How does a human man beat a snake man? How did that song go? They split their chins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they <took> off their <laughs> <laughs> yeah! oh, 
growing snake's eyes are weak d -d 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 since your body heat. <gasps> He's a growing snake. He senses heat. King needs queen. All will serve. <gasps> what? Where? You can float? You're a burrowing snake. Ow! And that means you rely on your heat vision. So a guy made of cool, cool crystal would be pretty much invisible to you, right? <laughs> Guess those big, beautiful eyes of yours aren't all that great. I still hear you. <laughs> what I hear, I hear. But I just can't stop making hilarious jokes! <laughs> Mary Jo. Planet could have been yours and mine. I come back for you. Yeah, you better have some new tricks by then. I guess this isn't so bad. You see how his tongue is moving? He's getting to know you. Yep, that's enough. <laughs> it tickles. Can I keep one? No, they need to stay here. This is their home. Aw, too bad. Yep, too bad. Oh, I think your grandpa's back. Ugh, grandpa. Bye, Mary Jo. Good luck with the critters. Thank you. How's that shed going, Mortimer? Do you think I would have made a good queen of the snakes? <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs>